Who? Third great to see you again. Good to see you. Hi. Michelle. With whom? With PAL. Mike Randall, Time Channel Record. Ken Crates with the American Legion. Good to meet you. Hi, sorry, Emily Kelly, Public Affairs. Good to meet you. So I think what I'm going to do, sir, I'm going to start. Um, Anthony will ask the first question, and okay. then we'll go down the row. Yes. So earlier today you had the session, the black and gold session with the cadets. Yes. Um, what impression did that make on you, and, and what did you learn from the cadets? And what did they want to know from you? Well, they, they want to know uh, sort of the happenstance of my career, how I ended up where I did end up with the FBI and some of the shots in between and uh, how the Marine Corps in my background enabled me to do whatever uh, was done in the job. And uh, it's just remar remarkably back here, it's not the first time I've been to West Point, but the quality of the kids that you have and uh, just in their capabilities, but also in their desire to serve in, uh, uh, in the military. You know, it's just remarkable. It really is uh, rejuvenating to come back and, and uh, talk to uh, these great kids. Uh, sir, what did you learn from your uh, Vietnam era service in the Marine Corps and your training, uh, your Ranger training with the Army? Well, the uh, Marine Corps, you learn the basics of leadership. Uh, your troops eat first. Uh, you don't never ask a troop to do what you wouldn't be willing to do yourself. And of course, I did a year in Vietnam, so I um, generally, if you make it through, the rest is downhill. So people say, isn't there a lot of tension in your job, the FBI? Well, it's compared to what you've been through in the past, it's tension, but uh, it's something you, uh, you work with. So I, I would never have been the director of the FBI without the Marine Corps training, and Ranger School was just uh, uh, probably the best training I ever had and uh, enabled me to, I think, uh, survive and, and I wouldn't say be successful because I'm not certain you're successful in war, but survive and, and to contribute. Let me just put it that way. Oh, I, I think no. There were a number that came back to uh, where you did not have the same reception that uh, our World War II uh, soldiers had, and it was difficult for uh, for some people. And but it really depends on the person. And I, I, I along with others, I think we owe our veterans uh, a substantial amount. And I'm not certain that they're getting what they. Uh, all that they totally uh, deserve at this point. And I know it's an issue for Congress and the like, but uh, a person such as you saw here today uh, serving their country are entitled, I think, to the respect and, and uh, appreciation by the, by the country. Um, based on what you've accomplished as the director of the FBI, how do you feel West Point is teaching its future leaders in respect to national security? Uh, West Point puts a huge emphasis on developing leadership, whether it be in the classroom, experiences such as uh, you have the, the retreat here and discipline that it shows, uh, the, uh, the expansive uh, undertakings of West Point to contribute to the defense of the country uh, should not be underestimated. Uh, I spent time here before because of their uh, terrorism center that they've had for a number of years and has contributed substantially to the knowledge of uh, the, the uh, uh, terrorist uh, foes and uh, they're expanding it uh, in the cyber arena. And you have a number of persons here who have the background in math and physics and the like who have the ability not only to uh, un know and understand the mathematics and the encryption and all the rest, but also to utilize their skills in furtherance of the country. So I, I would imagine, expect that uh, West Point will continue to grow and make a, a very positive contribution to the country's understanding of the cyber threat and defending against that cyber threat. Sir, thank you for your time, unless you have any Thanks for being out here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank that was you. just wonderful. I'm, you're all lucky to live here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Beautiful afternoon. Thanks, folks. Thank you. Thank you. you as well.